Gas, really a gallon of gas? It's bad enough that we're paying prices like these, but what if you're getting less gas than the pumps say you are? WCNC reporter Mario Roldan went along with state inspectors to find out if you're being ripped off. He is live now from our mobile newsroom in Charlotte. Well, when you fuel up and with prices like this, you want to make sure that if you pay for one gallon, you get a gallon out of here. But as customers, we don't see the gas, so we followed state inspectors to three gas stations, and one of those stores did not want to see us. For some, it's the sound of money. I think it's a farce. <laughs> going down the tank. And I always wonder if, if the pump's right. But for North Carolina inspectors, Seeing is believing. Any type of testing that we can to make sure that equipment is going to be accurate. They start at this Albemarle Road Shell Station in Mint Hill. Five gallon measurements, one pump at a time. Then the inspector's measurements are checked against the gas station receipts. A recent customer had complained. Yeah, everything else looks good. No complaints at the Willgrove BP in Charlotte and they pass the annual inspection. The scamming is very hard to do. A recent complaint takes inspectors to the Sam Smart on Monroe Road. That's off Highway 51 in Matthews. Our camera was not allowed on their property, but... Everything's fine. For about every 1,000 inspections, the state uncovers one problem, and it's usually equipment failure. Maybe a small meter jump when you first start up, and that's because of a leaky nozzle. And when making sure that you don't pay more for less, the state gives gas stations this much leeway to the gallon, anything more than a teaspoon, and they'll shut off the pump. Reporting live from the WCNC Mobile Newsroom in Charlotte, I'm Mario Roldan. The time now